Hello guys. This is MJ with MBJ Knowledge. You are welcome to our channel. Today we want to solve the question under statistics that is um, for mathematics paper 2, 2024 internal. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a simple method on how to calculate a standard deviation uh, which comes in paper 2. Okay, so the method that we are going to use for us to be able to calculate the standard deviation is first of all to find the mean. We are not going to be drawing any table. Okay, so finding the mean, we are going to be using now the formula. We are going to be using the formula mean, which is x bar equals to summation fx over summation f. So here, it's very important for you to identify your values for x and also the values for frequency. Okay, so in this case, these values here, you can see this type of data is what we call as grouped data. Okay, this type of data is in groups or in classes. As you can see from 0 to 2, so there are numbers from 0 to 2, 0, 1, and 2. So they are, they are grouped. So for us to find the, the x value, it will be the midpoint. Okay? So you will quickly find the x values on those data given. Okay? So let us calculate first of all the, the midpoint. So the midpoint here will say 0 plus 2. So we are adding the two limits. Okay? 0 plus 2, we are getting a 2. When you divide it by 2, we have x here as 1. Okay? Then next, we have 2 plus 4, okay, which is 6 divided by 2. We have x equals to uh, 3. Then 4 plus 6 divided by 2. So 4 plus 6 is a 10 divided by 2. We have 5. Then we have 6 plus 8 divided by 2, we have who? a 7. So 6 plus 8 is 14, then 8 plus 10 is 18, divided by 2, we have x equals to um, 9. Then 10 plus 12, which is 22, okay, then divided by 2, we have x equals to 11. So now we have our midpoints, okay? Having these midpoints now, we can calculate because the second row here represents the frequency values, okay? So now we have the frequency and we have the x values on each and every part there. So now I'm going to say x bar is equal to, so here it's saying summation fx, okay? Now the way we're going to write it, make sure you follow the same format. There's a reason why. Okay, so we're going to say fx, frequency here is what? 5, x is 1. So I'll say 5, open brackets, 5 is for frequency, and then 1 is for x. Okay, so 5 times x. Then plus, I'll do the same here, 15 times 3. So 15, open bracket, 3. Then plus, here we have a 25, so 25 open bracket times 5, okay, then plus 20, open bracket, we have a 7, okay, plus here we have a 10, open bracket, and then you put a 9, okay, close, the last one is 5, open bracket, you put 11. Everything here will be divided by the summation of the frequency, okay? So let us add the frequency values. We're adding 5 plus 15 plus 25 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5. So here we have 80 when we add all these. That is our frequency value, okay? So the summation of frequency is 8. Now from here, what you are going to do now, please do not start panicking. 
So what you're going to do is to punch everything you're seeing here on a calculator. Okay, so we're going to punch everything on a calculator just the way they are. So we're going to say five, you open bracket, you put a one in bracket close, and then you say plus, again the same here, 15, open bracket three, close bracket, then plus. So do the same for these, for the rest of the values, okay? So 25, open bracket, then five, closed bracket, plus 20, you open bracket seven, okay? Okay, so after you punch everything as they are, you will find that the value that you are going to get, you are going to get 460. Now this value, we need to divide it by 80. So divide it by 80, okay? So we say this value that we have divided by 80, okay, where we have x bar as equal to 5.75. This is our x bar. Okay, we found the x bar. So now, what do, we, what do we do next here? After finding the x bar, the next step now, the formula that we are using for standard deviation is this, by the way. Okay, this is the formula that we are using for standard deviation. Maybe others might ask. So we are using summation f x squared over summation f minus x bar square. So after we are done finding the mean, okay, next is for us to find this part here. Okay, we are not going to find it in the formula, we will find it from here, then we will just substitute the value on the formula. Okay, so let us um, find this part here, the summation fx squared, then over summation f. Okay, okay. So now, next what we are finding is this, okay? The summation fx squared over summation fx. What is in the formula here? Okay, so the same things that you did at the beginning. Now the only difference will be, this time around we are going to put a square on the x. So that is why I said, don't change what we are, the way we are writing, follow my format. So there in the beginning I was saying five, open bracket, the x values were in brackets. Now the x is squared here, so we are going to say 5 open bracket, you put just a square on the x value. But the same format, the way we are writing, 15 open bracket, the x value is 3, so 3 close squared, plus 25, okay, open bracket, the 5 squared, plus 20, then 7 squared in brackets, then 10, 9 squared, plus the last one is a 5, open bracket, 11 squared. Everything again over the summation of f, which is 8 that we found, okay? So now, in this case, okay, the same thing that you did, punching everything on the calculator, it's the same here, okay, no changes. So now, let us punch these values. So say 5, you open bracket, and then you're going to say, um, 1, close bracket, you put the power 2, plus, we have what? 15, open bracket, 3, close bracket, so power 2, okay. Okay, when you are done punching everything on the calculator, you are going to find that your answer is 3160. Now divide this value by 80, okay? 
So this is our answer for summation fx squared over summation f. Okay, so divide this answer that you have gotten by 80, where you are going to have 39.5 as your answer there. Okay, so now since we found these answers, okay, since we found these answers now, using our formula that we have, okay, using the formula that we have here, we are going to substitute the values. So now we are going straight into finding standard deviation. So here where there is this, this is our value here that we are going to substitute with. Okay, we're going to substitute with 39.5. So here we're going to say square root of 39.5 point, I mean minus, okay, minus the x bar squared x bar is this value we found here. So minus 5.75, the whole square. Okay? So when we reach here now, first of all, don't start subtracting before we handle the power there. Okay? So from here, first of all, I'm going to take down, I'm going to deal with the power. Okay? So we need to take what is the square of 5.75. Okay, 5.75 squared is 33.0625. From here, please, do not start uh, finding the square root before you subtract. So first of all, we subtract. So that 9.5 minus 33.0625. Okay, where we have the answer as 6.4375. Now take the square root of this answer. So what is the square root of your answer there? Okay, where we're going to have the final answer is 2.54 to three significant figures. This becomes the, your standard deviation. So let me just make it clear. When you're using this formula here, if you don't want to draw the table, the first step you're going to take is first of all to calculate the x bar. Okay? Now, you calculating the x bar, you're using the same formula, the same setup, but the only difference is that when you're calculating x bar, you are not putting the squared here on the x. So once you're done finding the x bar, the other step you are going to take is for you to do what? Is for you to find now what is on the formula here. Okay? So calculating this, the summation fx squared over summation f, how do you calculate it? The same step you took when calculating the x bar, but now you are going to introduce the power 2 on the x values, those numbers inside the brackets. Once you punch everything on the calculator, divide it by your summation of frequency, the addition of frequency. In our case, we had 80. After dividing, this was the answer. These two answers we got, this answer here and this answer here, we substituted them on the formula now, going straight into calculating the standard deviation. So here on this part, this number that you found on the second step, that's the number that you are going to put here, substituting this entire part on the formula. Next, minus the square of your x bar. So whatever value you found for your x bar, you are going to put it in brackets and square it. Okay? When you reach here on this part, please do not start rushing where you split, you say square root of 39.5. That is a mistake. So first of all, find what is the square of your mean. After finding the square of your mean like this, next, don't split your square root into two. First of all, subtract. So subtracting this and the square of our mean, we got 6.4375. Then we got the square root of this. Then writing our answer to three significant figures. If you can't manage to write to three significant figures, leave the whole value as it is. It's a correct answer.
Okay? okay, so thank you very much guys for watching and keep on supporting us, share and like the video.